Hi everyone, so I'm going to be brave and show you how to download the reading app. But first, I need to delete my reading app. So let's remember, your password and login will be the same as your teacher app login and password. So I'm going to click and hold to uninstall. If you've accidentally downloaded and logged in as a student and you don't know how to fix it, just delete it and let's start over together. So we're going to go have a look through. If you look at my recent reading app tutorial and if you click on the video I've put the link in there how do you find it so you need to go can you see this little arrow here this little arrow you've got to click the drop down arrow and there is the link so click on the link down here Android link if you're on iOS you can find it in the App Store so let's click the link It's going to redirect to download the APK file for Android. So here we have the Android APK. So here you want to use this gray area. I'm going to turn on my pencil. We want this one here. So I'm going to turn off the pencil. So let's click on that one. Now this comes up in Chinese. I don't read Chinese. So what do we need to do? You may at this point need to go into your notifications area to allow unknown apps in your Chrome. So we definitely do not want to touch the blue area. Not, not, not. We do want to touch this gray area. So let's download by clicking the gray. So it's going to ask, do we want to download this APK? Yes, we do want to download it. Let's press keep. If you get another message that says this type of file can harm your device, do you want to keep it? You can say OK. This is a personal choice. If you want to be able to connect with the students, you need to use this app. So on an Android, it does come up with this message. I've been using it for two years and I haven't had any problems, just to let you know. So I'm going to click OK. So this will download. I'm going to click on open. Do I want to install it? Yes. I'm on my cell data right now. Another thing I love about Palfish, you can use your data, your Wi-Fi, a phone or a tablet. So this is done. So I can either click done and go about my day, but I want to actually click open. So I'm going to click open. And here is the reading app. So this is the user agreement. Again, it's in Chinese. I don't read Chinese, but we want to click on this darker blue one, not this one. We want to click on the darker blue one. So let's click that now. This will open. Cute little Freddy fish animations. Cute little side point. The kids think his name is Palfish, but his name is actually Freddy, but I don't bother telling them. They think he's Palfish keep them happy. <laughs> so this is actually the children's login. Where do we find the teacher login? We're going to click this here, not this one. We don't want this one. So let's click that one. And here we have, look, <gasps> Palfish teacher login. This is what we want. We need to physically tap on these words. So let's do that. Click. Okay, now we can enter our phone number and password. This is exactly the same as your Palfish Teacher app. The only exception will be that if you use non-alphanumeric numbers like special characters, they may not be accepted by the Palfish reading app. So you may need to go over to your Palfish Teacher app to change it to be a less complicated password and add that then you can come over and use that same password. So it's the same login. It's not a new account. We don't want to start a new one. We use the same. So I'm going to put in my details here. Okay, so we're going to add in our country code, phone number, password, exactly the same as your teacher app. Let's go. Click on the blue login.
success. Now you'll notice that down here we have two options. You can actually choose what you would like it to look like. This one is called the rich content. Let's click on, oh, everybody seems to be familiar with the kids island that used to be the only view. So you can choose whether you want rich content or kids island. I'm choosing the kids island because I like to see the little fish swimming around. So I'm going to click confirm on that. And now there we go. I'm in my homepage. I know this is my account because I already have 21,000 shells up here. If you get an ad pop up, you can click the X button. You'll get an ad pretty much every time you log in because it's mainly for the students in China to log in and Palfish want them to take notice of these ads. But as teachers, we can just skip straight past them because we're obviously not going to buy a trial or something else. So these are the shells that I have. You can actually share these with students and this can help them to get these little awards like this one here that just went floating by. Here's another one. These are some of my achievements that I've received and I've used my shells to actually buy these achievements myself. So main, mainly what teachers want to do when they come in here is to look at books. We click on the, the green frog and I just posted a video tutorial about that. So right now I'm not going to show you that. You can have a look at that one. And also the other reason student, uh, teachers want to come in here is to click on the square button to upload a video to share with the students. So let's click on square. And I also just posted the tutorial so you can have a look at that. But we are going to have a look at this today in our Zoom training. So I will see you at 9 a.m. EST or 10 p.m. Beijing time, Tuesday, the 12th of January. Talk to you soon.